welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Saga Anderson is trapped in the dark place, which is masquerading as her mind place, and trying to drown her in her own hatred so that she will get taken. But so far she's managing to stay lucid and resist. Can I get the... I can't get the flashlight out. To stand, uh, and uh, resist all its little tricks. There's no way out! Like that one, for example. Okay, fuck that. Shout out to Yornick, who leaves a comment saying, You know, I was tempted to change my username to... And then he writes Yornick, but with a doomlout over the O, just for shiggles. But uh, it seemed like too much work. <laughs> consider yourselves lucky, and both consider and yourselves have umlauts over the O. <laughs> Oh, and the song about that winding road, it's sung, it, that song about the winding road, it's sung by Poe. So naturally, I want to think it's a recording of Edgar Allan Poe. Also, the knife you got to kill Sam Lake isn't just any regular knife. It's way, way more important than that. It's a time knife! And Otty isn't drinking soup. It's tea. A real old-timey way to drink it, too. Oh, boy. Oh, and uh, I think a couple of people have now pointed out that, uh... Alan's insane ranting in the drowning video uh, that we found at the end of his story sounds an awful lot like the, the 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 words the shadows mutter in the dark place. Okay, let's profile a way out, or let's look at this first. What is this? It's a gun and a badge. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Badge is covered in blood, I suddenly realize, with FB and then a big smear of blood, which might may be indicating she's going to join the Bureau of Control, or I don't know. Maybe they're hinting at that. That's a shitload of manuscript pages. No, seriously, there's got to be thousands of them. No, I'm not reading anymore. What is that? Oh, it's one of the containment uh, cubes lights. The ones I had to slowly rotate to face the box. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Do you really believe you would have been able to do that without handcuffing him to a fucking pipe? The Dark Presence took advantage of KC's injury. Manuscript pages can't change reality. I always put work first. Oh, it's a children's drawing of a little girl holding hands with a grown man while a grown woman drives away in a cop car. It's a drawing of her mother going to work while she stays with her father. You were a terrible mom. I can't do this! You were never home. There was always more work, more cases. You told yourself it was important. Dark Presence took advantage of Casey's injury. You were a terrible partner. No. It's your fault he got hurt. You knew he was injured. Why the hell did you take him to Cauldron Lake? Manuscript pages can't change reality. You've lost your mind. I can't do this. It's too much. It's crushing me. I'm lost in this darkness. The story is a delusion you invented to hide from the truth. <sighs> okay. I did my I did tense up just there as I turned around, but that's only because of what happened There's last no time. Out. I need to stop lollygagging. Okay, okay. I don't see any new objects in the room that I can interact with. So let's profile a way out. Oh, I didn't actually start my timer. My bad. Ahem. A way out. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh, God. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. 
I need a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. A deer? Why is there a deer I'm here? Anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. My place is pitch black. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. Still can't get the flashlight out. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Well, there's a flashlight on the table, but I can see that I already have a flashlight on my hip. Is that like a, a fuck up with the the, the, the the custom skin? The uh the sweater? Well, I guess so, because I'm pretty sure she just pulled the one from her pocket instead of picking up the one on the table. Oh! Oh, I see. It's one of those. It's like a one of the the source points that makes up the shield walls. It's on uh, Logan's little bed here. What's this? Hey, mommy, I made you a charm bracelet. Good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. That's the charm bracelet. It's adorable. It's woven. It's got like a it's heart M O M, and it's got the 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 heart charm from the inventory hanging off of it. It's sitting on top of Nordic tales and other folklore. Deduction available. There's another one on the lamp next to the manuscript desk. Covering up a certificate. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Thank you. While Sir our agency Sir must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Certificate of Meritorious Achievement to Agent Saga Anderson, date 8 8 2019, so uh, August 8th. Whichever way you read that. Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. Huh. Deduction available. Another one on the upgrade table. It's a bunch of things of liquor. And a kidney tray. Stop blaming yourself, Anderson. A knife in the arm is just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, Dad, look, Dad, leave the whiskey. Deduction available, let me guess. Yup, yup. Oh, it created two more. It's where I, when I'm pointing the light at certain things. It's, oh, it's the card from her mother. Hey. hey. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, boss. Really. Okay. Talk soon. I know I read this before, but... Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this, and you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. <clears throat> love you always, Mom. Deduction available. 
Let's see what happens when I put one of these deductions on the board. Uh, ah, another one. Where did it go? Where did it go? On the profiling table itself. Well, first. Uh, a reassuring note from my mom. A bottle of whiskey I gave Casey when he was in the hospital. A com commendation I received from the FBI. Logan made matching charm bracelets for us before I left. I'm assuming it says before I left, because I can't see anything beneath that uh, piece of the HUD. From the FBI. Uh, you were a terrible partner. No, 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 you were a terrible detective. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. Casey gave me no end of shit I for that speech. I'm doing. You were a terrible detective. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve the case. Yeah, before I left. Uh, bottle of whiskey I gave Casey when he was in the hospital. It's your fault he got hurt. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Our fault! It is! It is! I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. Oh, I didn't actually look at what it says there for the bottle. Uh, Casey has never blamed me when things go sideways. It's all part of the job. Let's get these other things. I like that this doesn't have a, uh, a flashlight meter on it. Like, this, she knows this is just a metaphorical flashlight. It's a cup of coffee. I saw this online and it oh. made me think of you. Oh, no, it's just okay, a coffee what cup. Are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs. No hugs. Not the worst, Mom. photo of uh, Casey like preparing dinner or whatever it was. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Brand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. Washing dishes. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, it really uh, meant a lot. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Sam Lake looks so happy in that picture. Anywhere else? Okay. The mug Logan gave me. You were a terrible mom. I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. You shut up. I've brought this mug with me on every case. I go where work takes me, but I never forget where home is. I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me, and I love her. Uh, photo of Casey at Logan's birthday party. You were a terrible partner. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. I don't... Oh, yeah, here we go. Casey isn't just a partner. He's family. I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up, and neither will I. Casey's still in there. I'm sure of it. A reassuring note from my mom. Logan made us matching charm bracelets. Oh, I'm gonna save that one for last. A reassuring note from my mom. Uh, is it you failed them? No. Is it you've lost your mind? Yes. No. This is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. Did Mom know something like this would happen? That I would need to hear these words again someday? I haven't lost it. At least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. 
And Logan made matching charm bracelets for us before I left. Logan died because of you. Gotta be. It's okay to be afraid. It's not supposed to be there. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. Uh, the, the description is, she wanted us to stay connected. God, I love that kid. My daughter isn't dead, and I won't let some bullshit story convince me that I let her die. And they also added a, f a finale thing to, you failed them. I haven't failed them, and I'm not going to. There is still time to fix this. Okay. No other cases. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. But I just need to get inside my own head. I did just get a new profiling thing. It's just called, I'm leaving. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. Huh. It will hurt. But I will fight. Deduction available, and it's a picture of a doorknob. Oh, we found a doorknob early in the game, so I should clarify that this one's attached to a door. I can leave by overcoming my doubts and fears. And how to leave. The dark place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head-on. That was on. hurting her. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Case closed. Uh, how do I leave? The Dark Place tried to use... Oh, wait, what does it actually say here? This place weaponizes your fears, but being afraid won't stop me from trying. The Dark Place tried to use my fears, anxieties, guilt to trap me here. To get back to Bright Falls, I'll have to dive even deeper. I won't give up. Case closed. The Dark Place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that, and Logan needs me. Huh? The weapon upgrades, the, the profiling pictures. Well, the mayor setter thing isn't back, but, you know, the radio is here? Oh, look at that, I missed, uh, two Pat main radio shows, but, uh, got all the old Gods of Asgard songs, at least. And there it is, return review. But if you'll humor me for just a moment, I'd really like to remember the, uh, the Koskala brothers the way they were. So, while we have this last chance... Adventure Tours. Since oh this is dear. my favorite. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. It's bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. Coffee and World I'm here magazine. to give you a tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. 
tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. <laughs> I love the shot where they say fuck the government and then it cuts to uh, Ilmo, Yako, and the bear all flipping off the camera. Uh, why don't I see a dot over manuscript pages? Oh, it's not it, it's profiling. Huh. Wait, what is that then? Is that the upgrades? Oh, the case board. Oh, the cases! Okay, what's this? Waken the clicker. I need to protect Tor and Odin while they perform the song. Scratch will likely show up. I should be ready for that, too. Case closed. Tor and Odin played their song. Everything was going to plan until the Dark Presence went into Casey and took the clicker. Look at that. Wake attacked. Scratch tried to take the clicker. Which case was that? The mind place, yes. Wake and the clicker, that's what it was. And just make sure I don't need to put anything on the wall ever again. Okay. Escape the mind place by using the door. All right. Hopefully it'll put me in a position where I can, you know, call it after that because the timer has gone. Coming for you, kiddo. Ooh, that's dark. Just a black wall. You can do it. Saga. Wake up. I think she's in Noir York City. Except it looks like it's midday. I mean, a really, really, really overcast day, but... Return 9, come home! The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. It is Noir York City. But it's like it's finally daytime here. And again, it's the cloudiest, most overcast day I can ever imagine. And I still need the flashlight, but... This is so much brighter than it ever was when I was playing as Alan. Yeah, I can even see one of those blinking lights off in the corner that he could pull into the angel lamp. I don't even have the angel lamp. What do I have on me? Jew, just a handgun full of rounds, so that's 18. And, uh... A bunch of, uh, used items. All right, uh, I know the thing is going. But, uh, interesting. It doesn't have the items I could still be able to use, like the bolt cutters. Whatever. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we go over there, answer that phone, and find out what the hell is going on now, and what fresh hell Saga Anderson finds herself in. Until then, believe in yourselves, trust in the love your family and friends have for you, and stay in the light.